Hey guys, welcome to my second video. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to draw a portrait easily. So to do this I recommend having these two things. A pencil like this one, you can carve it with a precision knife, and a mechanical pencil. So let's start by taking a carved pencil. Instead of sketching all the sort of lines around the face to draw where the face is gonna go and really define it at first, I'd suggest you only use two lines because it's a lot easier. You don't have to care about the quality of the lines really, uh, because their only purpose is to define the inclination of the eyes and the inclination of the head and its middle. So, I suggest to start by drawing the vertical line, which defines the inclination of the face and its middle. So now that we drew the vertical line, we can define where the nose, the eyes and the mouth are going to be placed. But I prefer to start from the eyes to get the inclination of the iceberg. So let's draw the horizontal line. So this done, we can start sketching two more lines to define where the nose and the lips are gonna go. It's always better to start with the nose and get the right distance between the nose and the eyes. So now that we drew these four lines, we're gonna switch to the mechanical pencil and start drawing the lips. The lips are the best element to start with because the two ends of it will be really helpful in understanding how big the nose and the eyes will have to be. So don't care too much about the quality of the mouth yet, try to get it as close as the mouth in your reference photo. Don't start to add details nor the shading and make sure to press tightly on the pencil. Because if you're making a mistake, you don't want it to be hard to erase. Trust me, this is important and most people don't really care about it that much. Yet, this ends up ruining their drawings. While drawing a portrait, a great way to get proportions right is to help yourself with the shadows and the highlights. It's really helpful and it's a great alternative to reference points, especially when they're not available yet. So unfortunately, without realizing, I did a really stupid mistake while drawing this portrait, and it's that I used my fingers to do the shading. Don't make my same mistake and use blending sticks. Uh, I'll put a link in the description so you can buy them. They're cheap and extremely useful, especially for portraits. However, if you don't have blending sticks, a really great alternative to them are cotton swabs. Also, if you're in a hot area and you're sweating, make sure to put a paper under your hand so it doesn't make contact with the trunk. That can actually ruin your drawing too. Now at this stage your portrait will kinda look weird, but don't get discouraged by it. Every single portrait looks this way, you just have to keep drawing. A lot of people believe that portraits have to be perfect at the first attempt, but that's not true. Everyone makes mistakes and getting a portrait perfect the first time is really hard and no one really does it. Uh, the important thing is that you correct the mistakes before starting the detailing, because then it becomes really complicated. If you're not 100% convinced that the drawing will actually be great in the end, here is a picture of it once finished. It took me two days to draw, but as you can see, the result is pretty stunning. However, after finishing the drawing and finishing the video, I fixed the mouth and the nose a bit. In a portrait, every millimeter counts. Don't worry though, the way I fixed it is shown in the video too. It's the same way I fixed every single other element while filming.
So even though this may sound perfectionistic, the eyebrows have to be drawn hair by hair. It makes them look really realistic and it doesn't take that much time. So draw a light shading, then draw the hairs one by one. Don't draw the hairs exactly like in the reference photo, that would take uh, too much time. Just try to give them the same direction. The eyes are by far the most expressive part of the face, so make sure to draw them as precisely as possible. Draw every single detail of them. You can also add more depth to them with darker pencils. I don't suggest using the polychrome black pencil because you won't be able to erase it if you make a mistake. So get a really high quality reference photo too. It's almost impossible to draw portraits from a low quality photo. Uh, make sure it's not overexposed or too dark. Uh, it has to be like this.
To draw blonde hair, a common mistake that people make is drawing the hairs themselves. You don't have to draw the hairs, you have to draw the shadow of the hairs with a pencil. But this is personally my favorite technique. Uh, there is another technique which is drawing the hairs with basically the eraser. But that's a bit harder and it's not really that precise. Thank you guys for watching this, I hope this helped you, and uh, if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Subscribe to my channels, check out my website, my Instagram, all that. I linked uh, a lot of really useful merchandise in the description, so make sure to check that out as well. And uh, see you guys next time.